So while tech companies may not be breaking any laws, and they're definitely not breaking any laws, they're still generating anger over the size of their tax bill. CNN.com slash join is where we will certainly be looking at it tonight. And we're asking you, are tech companies paying their fair share in tax? They are CNN.com slash join. Now, voting is open. We'll give you the results at the end of the programme. It is... <laughs> Some of you have jumped in straight away, 86%. But remember, before you start clicking away, the difficulty of where they should pay their tax. It's fine for you to, ta to say, no, they shouldn't pay. Or, yes, they are paying their fair share of tax. But where should they pay, it seems to me, is, a, is an option. Where they make the transaction, where they're based. So are they, are they not just caught in the middle? Anyway, there you are. Oh, dear. I'm clearly not doing much of an entreaty. You're going up to 91% on that. The OECD has made part of its mission to try to close tax loopholes. It worked with the G20 to try to address massive tax avoidance. The man in charge of its tax policy insists things are actually better than they were a decade ago. Until the work we've done with the OECD and the G20, companies could locate their profits in zero tax jurisdiction. Until last year, you had 3,000 billion US dollars, 3,000 billion US dollars of accumulated profit of US companies in Bermuda and Cayman. This is over. This is gone. However, tax planning is still possible and companies can still use Ireland with a rate of 12.5%, but they have to locate substance. They have to locate people there. It doesn't make people happy, doesn't make all the people happy, but progress has been made and we need to go further, in particular as regards the digitalization of the economy. Companies making big business in a country without being physically present. Netflix is a good example. They do massive business in Europe and elsewhere. They don't have a single employee and the question arises or where should they pay their taxes? Only in the US or also in Europe on the other markets? And that's what we work on with the G20 currently. I suppose the where they should pay their taxes is one question, but that they should pay taxes is another. And I, I guess I can see an argument that says, well, we are paying taxes, we're paying taxes in the United States, uh, which raises the issue of whether your Europe revenues should be taxed in Europe or in a lower tax restrict, um, jurisdiction where you have your headquarters. That's a very fair point. And again, until recently, they were paying taxes nowhere on their offshore profits. And that needed to be fixed. This has been fixed. Now, once you've decided that the zero tax jurisdictions are no longer in the game, where should companies pay their taxes? Where they create value. But where do they create value? Where the intangible property, where the algorithm of Google, if you want, is located, or where the customers are. And on that, countries are not necessarily in agreement. And interestingly, the United States of America is changing its approach. Until the tax reform, they thought that all the taxes were to be paid in the US by American companies. And now the US is shifting, saying, we're a big market. European companies are making profit out of our market, and we should tax them more than we are currently doing, recognizing that the Europeans may ta tax our own companies a bit more. And if, that's the conversation which is taking place. If you accept that there is change underway, how much of that change was driven by the moral question, public pressure, rather than the legalese of politicians? This moral idea that it is wrong not to pay tax? Well, the issue of tax, at least in Europe, but also in Asia and Latin America, a bit less in the US, has been quite high on the political agenda because people feel concerned. They feel concerned about increasing inequalities and they feel concerned about some people not paying their taxes. Wealthy individuals hiding their money in tax haven. This is over. We've put an end to bank secrecy. But also big multinationals not paying their fair share of tax. Thus, the work of the G20. And now this question of the balance, it's still here in Europe, is a big question that governments need right. to face. The issue of our big tech companies paying their fair share of tax, 90% of you say, no, they are not. The OECD says France has the highest taxes of any wealthy country. 
but that's not stopping the government from taking some dramatic measures to try to make Silicon Valley pay even more, which not surprisingly has the industry foaming at the mouth.